say so, bro. I'm rude, I would need I would die. I would need I would die. I would need I would die. I would need I Hello, YouTube, it's your boy XX Scoopy XX again and with the second video. <sighs> we are gonna be playing some hmm. What is this? Uh Minecraft? Yes, we are playing Minecraft, but <clears throat> it's not just um normal Minecraft. This is a Telltale Telltale game series thing. I don't know. Exactly. I know it's just a normal game. This be this dude, I guess I said dude. Oh. That's just lovely. Well, I guess we can only really play episode one. Oh, oh yeah, I did play The Walking Dead, the first Nothing one. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half truths, to put it simply lies and yet in all the known universe between here and the far lands the legend of the order of the stone endures unabridged as self-evident fact indeed it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes and ours was fortunate to have so long ago four heroes such as these gabriel the warrior before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. I just realized how I'm sure this is an option. Yep. My bad. That was my bad. Should have made sure that before. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor. So that's easy. I'll take the uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. <laughs> So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know. Amateurs. Hmm. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. No, the pig is. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. I don't know why does. Her trying to go for don't me. Don't take it so seriously, Jesse. Like I said, I don't mean anything by it. I'm just nervous. Did you hear that? Oh, no. oh it's a creeper. Boom! <laughs> 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 oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. Yeah, the pig fell over. Axel, why 
What's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for you it? You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs. All okay? right. Okay. Oh, this is weird. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. No. They should. Give me a dragon roar, Ruben. <laughs> That'll do, Ruben. That'll do. <laughs> what the fuck? I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. No, too sad for you. Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. It was weird, because the arrow sounds and everything are straight out of, like, normal Minecraft, and it's weird, because, like... I don't know. All right, guess we're getting roll. <laughs> if you're enjoying so far, drop a That's like everything. for part two. Let's roll. And I'm yeah, dude, roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't oh, mean dang. anything if we lose. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben oh, with us. No. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. To win. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay. Hmm. So how do we do this? Maybe. We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Yeah, we'll go in the middle. Build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a Creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. This is weird. Bring it in. 
Dare to prepare on three. No, 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 no. Preparing is daring. No, that's that's the same thing. Forget it. Uh, team on three. One, two, three. Team, team. prepare. Oh. Yeah, let's just punch some wood. Woo. Alright, so I, d I played The Walking Dead. Oh, whoa. Oh, I thought he was humping me at first. Oh, this kind of. And, um, oh my Jesus. That's me playing Minecraft 10 out of 10. But, um, it's weird because like, it's like, um, something you do, like, kind of like how it said in the beginning, come. Around. Like, I don't play that much of it. I play it a little bit. <sighs> you get 10 out of 10 mining, bro. We know what we're building, we've got all the stuff for it, we are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build, I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Mm. Oh, Bruh. Great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Bruh. That's not nice. Name, please? Axel. And, uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. <laughs> so much for losing anonymously. Um... With the order of the pig. <laughs> sure. Really? Is it meant to tie us to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, order of the pig. You guys are in booth five. <laughs> That's messed up. Because, because he's large. Hmm. Nope. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking.